What's up, suppers? It is Dives, Mr. Crockpot on Twitter. Welcome to the Suit Up Podcast. Uh, the Suit Up Podcast can be found on iTunes and Spotify. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you hit like and subscribe below. On tap for today, I'm going to react to the brand new Birds of Prey trailer. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's suit up. All right, guys, we are back. I am going to react to Birds of Prey. Uh, Birds of Prey, the brand new trailer just came out. It's the last trailer. It's the final trailer. Uh, the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn comes out on February 7th. Long story short, I love the animated series of Harley Quinn. It's by far one of the best shows of 2019 and surely 2020. Uh, they truly understand the DC characters, especially Harley Quinn and the Joker. I'm really excited for this trailer, but I haven't really been that much excited for this film. Um, if you have followed my article on thepaintalliance.com, I've been doing a comic book movie power rankings 2020 and beyond. I had Birds of Prey in my honorable mentions. Uh, quick story, uh, I, my top five are the Batman, I've got Wonder Woman, then I've got the Into the Spider-Verse sequel, and then four, I've got Doctor Strange and then Multiverse of Madness. And my fifth one was Black Panther 2. Um, I'm excited for this trailer, mainly for Black Mask. Uh, Ewan McGregor, I heard we're finally going to get the reveal of Black Mask. Um, but I really just want to see Harley Quinn, the animated series, translated to the big screen. Because it's just such a brilliant show that understands everything and anything of Harley Quinn. Uh, let's get the trailer started. Can I help you? Why, yes, yes, you can. I'm here to report a terrible crime. And what terrible crime is that? This one. Ah, oh, shit. I told this all wrong. Quick history lesson. This all started when the Joker and I broke up. It was completely mutual. And soon enough, I was back on my feet, ready to embrace the Fierce goddess within. <laughs> it's oh so quiet. Now that I cut ties with Mr. J, I'm about to learn that a lot of people You're want me dead. All alone. And at the top of that list is this guy. And so peaceful. And but it turns out <laughs> that wasn't the only dame in Gotham looking for emancipation. You fall in love. We can't just rob him. You betrayed him. You killed his BFF. What? You are so cool. You never. And you're dumb enough to be building a case against him. So, unless we all want to die very unpleasant death, we're gonna have to work together. Sure. Psychologically speaking, vengeance rarely brings the catharsis we hope for. Yeah. Are we ready? You blow up Hyena in a bathtub? I named him Bruce after that hunky Wayne guy. <laughs> well, all right, so we got a laughing hyena. Not bad, not bad. It's actually better than I thought it would be. Um, actually, what I really enjoyed about this trailer was it seems to be uh, everything about Harley Quinn. Um, <laughs> I mean, I know it's called Birds of Prey, but let's be honest, we want more and more and more Harley Quinn. More Harley Quinn, the better. We got to see Black Canary. We got to see the Huntress. However, I loved how this trailer emphasized um, Harley Quinn 
and Black Mask. Ewan McGregor looked really good. We got our first glimpse of the Black Mask. I really liked it. Uh, I'll probably call it better than the Taskmaster uh, costume reveal uh, for Black Widow. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I mean, Harley Quinn, uh, Margot Robbie's going to nail this role. No one's surprised. I love the colors of this trailer. Um, it showed a little hint that everything that the animated series got right about Harley Quinn is going to be in this. The psychological piece of Harley Quinn is what I love the most. It's when she's talking to herself, talking to her own psyche and going back and forth. And that's my favorite part. I think what it's missing, though, is Joker. I know she's trying to get away from Joker, but what I think this really misses is, you know, to have the presence of Joker in this to kind of go back and forth like the animated series does so well. Um, not a bad trailer. I was very impressed, actually. Uh, the laughing hyena was was pretty outrageous, but that's what this movie should be. This movie should be outrageous. It should be graphic. It should be everything. I, and I was actually impressed because they seem to nail the action scenes with Margot Robbie. The action looks pretty badass. Um, you saw her, you know, kicking, uh, jump kicking, uh, all that kind of stuff. So I was not bad. If I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it like around like a seven, seven and a half out of ten. Uh, is it going to crack the top ten of my comic book power rankings? I don't think so. That's going to be really difficult. For example, number 10 in my power rankings is Venom 2 and Black Widow is number 9. And then you got Aquaman 2 at number 8. Dude, you're not going to beat Carnage in Venom 2. You're not going to beat the, you know, the Winter Soldier vibes of Black Widow. And it's not going to beat Aquaman 2. Aquaman was one of my favorite comic book movies of all time. It looked good, though. Am I more excited to see Birds of Prey? I think I am. Kathy Yan, the director, is kind of an a, a unknown director. Uh, she seems to have a grasp on the characters. Really, fingers crossed. Uh, not a bad trailer. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, at SuitUpTPL, and everything superheroes and DCEU and comic books. Check us out at ThePaintedLines.com. For myself, I'm Mr. Crawpot. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, guys. Bye.